children. You know, fear is one kind of negative emotion. Sometimes, fear protects us. But, what is the difference between common fear and phobia? Phobia is a Greek term for fear. Phobia is an illogical, irrational and consistent fear of any kind of object, event or situation. Sometimes students told me, ma'am, I'm scared of snake. I'm terrified of spider, cockroach. So now students, you will know about what are the different types of phobia. First, specific phobia. Specific phobia is an illogical, irrational, consistent fear of any kind of object. And you know, it's very common type of phobia. Zoophobia and insect phobia and blood phobia. And only for your knowledge, you know, hydrophobia means fear of water. Autophobia means fear of being alone. And pyrophobia means fear of fire. And acrophobia means fear of height. And you know, when we call disorder, when four Ds are present and four Ds are distress, dysfunction, danger and deviance. And when the symptoms just affect our day-to-day -day life, our social life, our occupational life, then we call disorder. And now, and these kinds of specific phobia, you know, affects our life and our social life, our occupational life, etc. Now, move to other part, other category, you know, social phobia or new name of social phobia is social anxiety disorder. Now, some students told me, ma'am, I can't talk in any kind of public place. I can interact with other people. I can eat in public places. And at that time, I just start and feeling anxious and start heart palpitation. And now, what is social phobia or social anxiety disorder? And people with social phobia are fearful or anxious about any kind of social situation. And they may face scrutiny by others always. And you know, and phobia is one kind of learned behavior. Yes. And from observation and from learning, you can develop and obviously conditioning, you can develop phobia. And what are the thinking behind these kinds of phobia? And people always hold unrealistically high social standards. They must perform perfectly in every social situation. They believe themselves as an inadequate, unskilled social being. And common type of phobia, you know. And the people who are suffering social phobia or social anxiety disorder can't maintain any kinds of relationship. Yes. And now move to agoraphobia. And the agoraphobia, the people develop a fear of any kind of unfamiliar situation. And from agoraphobia, sometimes you know, lead to panic attack. The people who are suffering agoraphobia and always try to avoid any kind of public places and uh, crowded place and just try to avoid any kind of restaurants in theater, lift these situations. Now, next. Separation anxiety disorder. Separation anxiety. It's a very common type of developmental pattern, especially emotional development. But when we call disorder, the individual with separation anxiety disorder are fearful or anxious about separation from any attachment figure. What are the causes of separation anxiety disorder? Various kinds of his family problems and that time you know, and death of any loved one, death of pet, 
any kind of environmental issue and you know are the causes of social sorry separation anxiety disorder and the children with sad may develop you know and unable to go to school yes and always shadow their parent movements and they want to avoid these kinds of anxiety you know and just start suicidal gesture and scream sometimes high pitch sounds and temper tantrums that means uncontrolled expression of their anger and frustration and phobia and separation anxiety disorder you know the cognitive behavior therapy and behavior therapy are very much effective and systematic desensitization exposure prevention an important technique you know and for these kind of disorders thank you my children